everybody, what's up? It's your boy, I am the Cigar Ching going, hey, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, I wanna talk about pipe smoking. Now, I'm just an amateur in this. I just barely started. In fact, this Christmas, I got a gift set and it was a Whitlock's gift set. And, you know, it came with a pipe and with filters and a check and all that. And it was pretty good. Um, so I didn't know much about it. What I did know is I wanted to try it, so Santa brought it for me. And as soon as I got the pipe, I headed down to my local cigar shop. And like I said, I didn't know much about anything, didn't know much about the tobaccos or the blends or anything like that. And I got me some uh, aromatics. And I figure, you know, if I start somebody out with a cigar, I usually do some kind of infused or something, something a little bit tasty so they're not just embedded with that tobacco taste at first, and then they just kind of creep in the back door. Um, that's kind of what I did here with pipe smoking. Like I said, just since December, not really knowing much, learning all these blends and um, everything associated with a pipe. So when I said check, this is what I mean. This is a pipe tool and it was made in uh, Czechoslovakia, so they call it check. And you got your tamper right here, you got your little, uh, your needle to break up the tobacco and your scoop as well to scoop out the sides, any kind of uh, cake buildup within the pipe chamber. Um, so like I said, got the pipe and uh, just started smoking. Didn't know exactly how to fill it, how to do anything with it. So I had to learn a lot of YouTube, a lot of reading, things like that. And uh, really, really enjoying it. So this is my very first pipe, my Whitlock. Um, now, from there, I kind of progressed, uh, wanted to buy me something else. So what did I do? I got me this corn cob pipe, uh, was it Missouri Meerschaum? And uh, I love it. It's durable, it's cheap, it's a great smoke. Uh, it's got a wide chamber in it. It's deep, it's cool. I love it. Uh, very, very lightweight, very, very durable. I didn't know what to expect. I had always seen it like on the History Channel with MacArthur or something like that. And uh, and was pleasantly surprised. So I love that. From Missouri Meerschaum, this corn cup. Uh, from there, let's just say, I don't know, I caught the bug. Um, I went and I bought this lacrosse. It's an egg shape with a really deep chamber. And I'll tell you what, I, I love this. This is one of my favorites, uh, if not my favorite, just because of the deep chamber. So if I find a tobacco that I really, really like, that's the one that I pack. And I just sit back and I can watch a movie and just, you know, have a nice smoke. Um, my latest purchase though, was a Peterson Standard 306 with a Peterson system inside of it. Uh, it's got the, uh, the moisture well, and it is, it's beautiful. And I believe they call this a uh, military setup at least with the reinforced mortise and whatnot. That way you could take this off when it's either hot or cold and it doesn't affect the mortise and warp it. I hope I'm getting this wording right. Like I said, I'm a brand new novice and whatnot, but I've tried out a bunch of tobaccos. What I did is I went to uh, pipes and cigars, uh, smoking pipes, things like that, those websites. And I looked up their most um, popular brands as far as tobaccos and I looked them up on YouTube and then I just got into them. So what I did, of course I got the Colt Blood Red. All right, I love that one. Very cherry, vanilla kind of taste, uh, as far as I can tell. Very, very nice smoke and it leaves the room smelling great. Um, now one of the blends, the, what is it, Latika? Latakia, excuse me, the Latakia. Now that in itself, uh, and I think they mix that with the Orientals and things, it's kind of, uh, I don't wanna say tart, but it's a real distinct smell and a real distinct taste. And I've, at first I didn't really like anything with it. I tried that uh, Seattle Club, the plum cake. That was my first introduction into that. And it was really, really overwhelming at first. And I let it sit out, let it dry just a little bit. And, uh, you know, it's kind of growing on me. It really is. Uh, I really like it. I got this, this Black Horse Marquee Series. 
and it's got uh, Latakia in it, and I like it. I really, really like it. Um, this was on the, there we go. This was on the um, most popular list that it was, as well as the Navy Deluxe. See that? This comes in a coin. I had no idea that the tobaccos came in different, uh, different ways. Uh, cake, coin, ribbon cut, things like that. I thought everything was ribbon cut. I didn't know. Uh, flake. So, and there's different ways, different uh, types of, of ways to smoke these. So I'm learning them and uh, just going through it. But I wanted to share with everybody just a little bit of my uh, my pipe adventure, my my pipe journey. Uh, one thing too, much like with cigars, butane lighter, soft flame, uh, this way, it does not mess with the taste of the tobacco. If you use a big lighter or something like that, or even a Zippo, uh, I know traditionally people have used Zippos or matches to light their uh, their pipes. But like with cigars, you want to use butane uh, or a match. Just make sure everything burns off first, so it doesn't affect the the, uh, the flavor profile or the taste or anything like that. Um, also, too. All my ashtrays for cigars, I didn't have a knocker. And that knocks out any of the ash or any kind of remaining tobacco in there, along with your check, uh, you use that. So I had to come up a little bit with uh, some different things just to complement uh, what's going on. I have a Peterson Dracula on the way and also a Savinelli uh, 111. So what I'll do is when I get them, uh, I'll do a little review on them or as best a review as I can and we'll check it out together and uh, kind of go down the road in this little pipe adventure. Like I said, I love my cigars and I'll never give them up. Uh, cigar smoking is the closest thing to going out into to rolling up a plant. I mean, it literally is. You're just rolling up leaves and smoking them. Uh, with the the pipe smoking, do I feel smarter smoking a pipe? Not really. Do I feel distinguished or anything like that? Uh, no, it brings back memories of TV, things like that. Um, you know, people reading books, uh, academia, academia. See, I can't even say it right. Um, things like that. But I do, I do love smoking a pipe. I really do. It's very relaxing. And I could do it indoors and it has a nice smell versus with cigars, which kind of have a, a little bit of an overwhelming tobacco smell. Um, so the, it's a lot easier on uh, anybody in the house or anything. Uh, very conscious of room notes when I, when I buy uh, tobaccos or anything like that. Like I said, the plum pudding from, uh, was it Seattle Pipe Club? That one in itself has a very, very distinct room note and uh, it just makes the room smell um, to me, it smells good. Uh, so I got to be very conscious of that as well as the cult, the, uh, the blood Mary or blood red. Uh, that one has a very, very nice cherry note, very subtle. And it just kind of fills the room. So like I said, I'm a novice and I'm learning this. So I hope you guys come back. And, uh, when I get my, my Dracula, why did I get it? Well, I'll tell you why on the next video, but until then, Everybody, no matter what you're smoking, enjoy, always enjoy, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.